Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I will review the new functionalities of service module in Dynamics CRM 2016. Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2016 includes a new interactive service hub bringing tailored application experience to your service team. In order to enter the service hub, you should just click on experience it now or you can add after .com engagementhub.asp Okay, so great, uh, we are in the service hub. In the service hub, you can see only uh, service-related entities like cases, accounts, contacts, and activities. Let's go to the cases entity. You can see that the view is bigger and all system is working faster. Let's go to one of our cases. You can see that Microsoft did some changes in this uh, cases form. In the left side, we can see a summary tab including important things like uh, customer details, priority, status, case title, subject, customer, uh, product, and entitlement. We can switch tabs by clicking here, details, case relationships, SLA, or go back to summary. In the middle, we can see a timeline. We can see all activities here. We can filter uh, activities by a uh, date, or we can uh, find a specific activity. And we can also add a new activity, like task, email, phone call, appointment, and note. The most important thing here that we can customize task form or phone call form. Okay, we cannot do it in the last version. In the right side, we can see a quick case form including recent cases and the entitlement. Okay, we can see it here. And we can switch to see knowledge articles here. In the upper side, we can also see the business process. You can see it here. When I click here, I can see the stages. Like the old page, I can customize all this form and business process in the customization option. Okay, so that's great. Let's go to see the new exciting dashboards. So Microsoft prepared four very special dashboards for knowledge managers. My knowledge dashboard, tier one dashboard and tier two dashboard. Let's go to tier one dashboard. We can see here view like my active cases, my result cases. We can filter by date here by clicking here, or we can uh, advance filter by clicking here. And we can also switch to a chart view and see here also charts. Let's go to the tier two dashboard. Tier 2 dashboard is a little bit different. Both dashboards you can customize by going to uh, your old environment, settings, customization, customize the system. Dashboards. Okay, so we can see here the new dashboards like uh, Knowledge Manager and T1 dashboard, T2 dashboard, and we can make changes here. As well in the case entity, we can see a new form, new forms that we can customize. Okay, this is the new form and you can customize it in here. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video. If you have more questions regarding the service hub, you can contact us. Our contact details are written below. Thank you and see you next time. Bye-bye.